Hey everybody, Zoe B. Scheller here in my home studio in Canyon City, Colorado. I'm super excited to take this time to show you around my studio and talk to you a little about my work. I'm a former Clay Art Center resident and Clay Art Center is having an online and Sika Expo show and I really hope you can take the time to check out the incredible work that's up on there. Clay Art Center was such an incredible part of my ceramic journey. I was there for two years and as a resident artist, I made work in my studio constantly, surrounded by incredible artists who were always talking to me and giving me ideas and working with me, as well as teaching. And the teaching was incredible, working with students of all ages, many students that I'm still in touch with and talk to regularly, and then the community there, not only the students, but the staff and other former residents I'm in touch with and I know will be a part of my family forever. I now want to take this time to show you around my studio, talk to you a little about my work and the materials that I'm using to make it, and give you just a little tour. I'm super excited to sort of debut what I've been up to here in Colorado. Here we are in my home studio in Canyon City, Colorado. You can see I have natural light in my studio. I'm extremely lucky to have such a beautiful place to work. I couldn't be luckier. You can see I have these incredible barn doors that my husband and I built together. A little photo booth setup area. Some of my work up on display. My incredible wedging table that my husband Paul made for me and I will forever be grateful for it. Some more work on display. You can see my two wheels. I have a low wheel and a standing wheel trying to take care of my body best I can. And then we'll come over and check out. I'm currently working on a commission of mugs, red and orange carved mugs. You can see there's some wax on there to help with some lessening the sharp edges. Then we come over and we can see some of my vases in action. This is a larger vase that I made while I was still at Clay Art Center and a smaller, newer one using my porcelain that I've been working with and some colored porcelain. And you can see sort of how the pot interacts with the flowers, which is really exciting for me. And then we'll walk over and take a look. Oh, there's Puka. Hi, Puka. And you can see my Shih Tzu. I love Shih Tzus. You can see up here some work by some of my favorites and some of my friends. Brandon Schnur, we've got some Nikki Laz, we've got some Christine Fashions, we've got an awesome Logan Wall and Justin Rauche collaboration, and a mic serve back there as well. I always like to have art around me, photos of family, little things for inspiration, because it gets my mind moving and makes me sort of feel like I'm connected. Love having my Clay Art Center family watch over me. And then we'll come back over here so I can talk to you a little bit more about the new work I've been working on. Oh, book on Shih Tzus, I love Shih Tzus. I'm working with a Laguna Frost Porcelain. I've been firing it to Cone 04 to Bisque and then Cone 05 in the Glaze Fire. You can see some of the finished work up here. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of a very exciting collaboration I'm working on with Nikki Lau. There's a few of her characters, I just love them. So here's a piece with some luster. You'll see work like this on Clay Art Center's shop where I'm collaborating both my sort of small sculptural little creatures and adhering them and attaching them to some thrown vessels. I'm really excited about how I can combine these sort of two worlds where I'm playing with a sculpture kind of stuck onto a pot and seeing how they can interact and work together. I'm really excited with how the nichrome wire sort of enters and plays with space. Um, it's really just sort of fun for me. And I like the idea of bringing joyful, whimsical, and a little bit of silly work into the world. And lastly, I wanted to just show you I've been making some jewelry as well. So you'll see some new jewelry out there, little pieces, which I'm really excited seeing my work so tiny and small. Well, I hope all of you will take the time to check out the incredible Nsika web shop expo show that Clay Art Center has put together. I hope you have enjoyed seeing my studio. I'm gonna leave you on one final note where I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features in the studio, and that is my table 
that is both a seated and standing table. It allows me to move and not handle my work as much because I can simply raise the table up or lower it depending on how I feel like working. So these legs come up and down and allow me to stand and sit. And I feel that that's a great feature for all artists and makers who oftentimes are in the same position for a long time. Well, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Bye.